going on guys? Geneva 9 back at you again today. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. So today's topic is something that uh, everybody was kind of thinking about and I hope you're worried about because I don't know whenever I'm driving I'm very worried about somebody not paying attention probably just talking on their cell phone texting and just not paying attention and boom there goes your thousands of dollars of investment gone damaged and like me uh, spending way too much money on your paint job and just gone in a split of a second yeah I think I got the solution for you stay tuned Oh, it's the intro to my video. Here's this, my car. Yeah, this is what I wanna see. Here's the intro, cause I don't got nothing better to do. And I'll get a new intro, I promise. I'll make one pretty soon. So, all right, let's get to it. Yeah, so I do apologize about that that ghetto intro. I will try to make it better. What I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is uh, installing a third brake light, just like this one, just like that. This brake light I bought from Amazon. Uh, it was only about 10 bucks very cheap so in case it breaks or anything I'm not gonna cry over it or anything like that it's very cheap very easy to install and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today pretty much it's a third brake light that blinks well when you buy it it doesn't blink so there's something that I'm gonna be showing you what type of um, technology that I added to it so that it will blink when you buy this off of Amazon, um, again, I'll leave the description below. I'll leave the link to where I bought it. Uh, it's fairly cheap. They run about nine to ten dollars, uh, depending if you're an Amazon Prime member. Then you get free shipping, like me, which is really great and awesome because you get it sometimes the next day. But yeah, the the thing with this one is that it doesn't blink. So right when you buy it and you press on the brake, you get it all connected, and you press on the brake, it just lights up but you want to add some flair to it so what I did was ended up buying um, this piece right here and I'll show you oh, get the keys to the Rari just kidding as you can see guys I already have the connectors right here already plugged in I will show you how to connect that wire onto the brake lights fairly easy but I bought this little device it's from Katek. I hope that I pronounced that right. Katek, it's a blinking smart stop system. So it's a made in the US of A, so you know it's legit. Well, Japan, made in Japan also is legit. Uh, pretty cheap. Uh, I'll leave where I bought it in the description below. They do have various options. For this one, I bought the one that blinks and holds. Um, so there's a fast there's a fast blinker one there's a steady blink there's just a lot of options and uh, just go around to their website and check it out I bought it three years ago and I think there's still operation so actually let me go show you my phone where what the website is it is there it is guys Kotech Kotech.com whichever you choose uh, it don't matter they're pretty good mine uh, works I've already connected it with my stock third brake light right there so this is actually a fourth brake light so you kind of know how much I uh, value my car so yeah so guys so here is the third or in my case the fourth brake light I know there's a lot of people you can install this in so many ways you can use double-sided tape like what some people told me to do um, which is not wrong I mean you can do it as what you want but the way I put it was like did some custom brackets and I attached it um, to the car itself with actual hardware so that if I feel more confident and I feel that it's a lot more intact when I'm driving and it won't fall off so it just gives me a little peace of mind but you can install this any way you like the way I'm showing you today is the way I did it so if you look right here actually I detached it from the back I made a custom T bracket just like that you see that it comes through it's like a T bracket with three holes I did a custom bend so that it goes right through that mini hole so again on the Evos uh, you have to take out that plate on the JDM bumper for that to work so it'll slide right through because there's a little tiny hole where that bracket piece fits up to the bumper and when you take out that plate 
um, there's actually going to be an exposed hole to the bumper for your advantage. I slid it right through there and yeah pretty much attached it to the F1 brake light with some screws, some washers and then here's the, here's the other part what I'm telling you about what I did more customization was this piece right here I bought a little L bracket and I attached it to that mini piece right here on the Evo so I know for my fellow Evo owners out there if you look on the, the inside of your bumper there's gonna be that piece right there the little piece of metal tab that you can use to attach that L bracket right there and also connect it with this so I use that as the foundation so that I can use that to screw this piece right here and what I did was use a screw and place it right through there just like that and then tighten that up and it should be sturdy put the nut right there and we'll tighten it up nice and tight so I don't know about you guys but for me I have the serious case of the it's the OCD this is completely optional if you want you can get one of these and get, make sure that this thing is level I know you're probably wondering whoa that's that's going way far and beyond but that's just me I want to make it look good and I don't want somebody looking at my car from behind and turning their head like this it's like huh what's wrong with that just place that on top of the brake light like boom there you go so it falls right between the lines it's a little off let me make a quick adjustment right quick and there she is bubbles right between she is centered and voila perfect nice and straight let me uh let me go back so you can see so ooh, she is looking beautiful so i don't know about you but that fourth brake light for me it's, it gives a little bit of character for the car i know some a, a lot of evos with evos on instagram i see put this on so i kind of jumped in the bandwagon with that but it just in my opinion it completes the look of the car especially the rear and uh, it's also a great investment a little cheap investment to protect your car from getting rear-ended so now I'm gonna, let me get into the, the wiring right here so the wiring boom it does come with three wires I know there's two wires that connect to the terminal and you can actually route this anywhere or make it hidden in your car so before I get into wiring the brake light I want to show you how I installed that blinking system that I bought from Kotec what I did was splice the connector from the bulb of the third brake light because I want my third brake light to blink as well along with my fourth so guys before I go on if you could kindly press that like button and if you could kindly press that subscribe button so that you could always be in tune of the various things that I put out in this channel. Not just Evo stuff, but more to come on various things as well. I found the directions for this blinking system. After three years of three years of plus of owning this, I actually kept the instructions, which is good. But the red wire goes to the positive wire brake light. The blue wire will actually go to right to the third brake light. And then you got the black wire going to the other side to the ground so as confusing that is I'll leave a snapshot of this or I'll just uh, just pause the video and it also actually has installation verbiage as well so hope that helps guys I'm glad I actually held on to this here is that wire that will connect to the third brake light this wire was way too short so I added an extension wire um, and then I will feed this wire right through the firewall so I was looking through the whole firewall and I couldn't find any holes so I had to remove the the rear brake light so that I could feed it right through this hole right through here which comes out if you remove the lamp it comes out right here and then you can pretty much just snake this right behind the bumper to connect to the wire 
to reach to the other side. I got the connector wire connected right here. Now I'm gonna be start putting this protector so that this won't separate. Okay, put it right through the wire. Light it up. There you go. But now I'm just gonna use, take this wire and tuck it and hide it underneath there. Make it nice and clean. Hey guys, so if you made it up to this part of the video, I'd like to say thank you. And uh, let, let me continue on and let me show you how I cleaned up the wire. Here is the light. It's very stable. And that wire, I pretty much zip tied it up to the back of where the, the license plate's gonna go to. And it snakes up all the way to the corner on top of the bumper. And it goes right behind this tail light through this hole right here and I need to do a more cleaning up on it but for demonstration purposes only I want to make I don't want to make this video too long and that's where it runs all the way there to the Cotex system I will be hanging this up later on to clean it up a little bit more and that's about it guys so guys it all comes down to the moment of truth I'm gonna go to the driver's side press on that break and see if this Cotec system works and blinks if I press on it and see if this third brake or for my situation if this fourth brake light actually does the job so let me go show you right quick So now let's see if it works simultaneously with the top light right there, with the top light and the brake light. So let's go see if it works together. So guys, that just wraps up the whole video. I hope you found this video very helpful and informative. It's not very hard to install the third brake light. Again, it does cost 10 to nine bucks, nine to 10 dollars on Amazon. So if you mess up, you break it, it won't cost you a normal leg. You just buy one and it'll, if this breaks down along the way, it's not 500 bucks or just like this tail lamp right here, the Evo, where it costs um, 400, 500 bucks for a pair so again the wiring is probably the hardest part of this and you can customize it any way you want on installing it to the body there's no wrong or right way but um, I suggest that when you do buy that Kotec uh, blinking system make sure you read the instructions carefully uh, they do have a customer support service where they can help you out uh, there's other systems out there that's available in the market not just that one i have no buy so uh sponsored by them at all but i'm just telling you what system i used for that braking system so again i hope that helps you out hopefully you don't get any more fender benders or anybody crashing into the sweet booty of your of your vehicle and i, I know that here in washington state it gets dark really fast and there are a lot of uh, people out there not paying attention especially when it's raining so this will actually help improve vision on the road improve your safety I have a three-year-old so that helps me a lot if she it does plan on riding with me so this acts as a protection and safety for family for your car this expensive paint job and pretty much everything so again thank you so much guys for sticking right through this video Thank you so much for being there and watching and pretty much supporting me through all the other videos that I've, I've created. Press that like button if you like what you saw. Leave a comment below and let me know what improvements or what you want to see me, what video you want me to create next. Or just uh, give me a shout out and say, you know, show some love. Press that subscribe button so that you're always in tune on the next videos that will be coming up. So thank you again guys. You have a good night. 
and stay safe out there.